Hello guys and welcome back to Tichita. In this video, we're going to analyze free vibrations in doubly curved shells. Let's start with part module. Click part, click manager, click create. Now we want to model the structure. We have a 3D deformable structure and the shape is shell. For the type, we're going to go with revolution. Click continue and then close. Now let's create a 90 degree arc with radius of 1. We want to trim the top portion at 30 degree angle. So let's draw a line that has an angle of 30 degrees with Y axis. Now we want to use auto trim feature to remove the extra lines like so. Click X and then done. The software is asking us what is the angle that it should revolute this sketch along Y axis. We're going to go with 360 degrees. Now the structure is modeled, let's move on to property module and define the material as a steel. Under general, we have to define density for vibrations. Density for steel is 7800. And then we're going to go under mechanical, elasticity, and then elastic to define the Young modulus and Poisson ratio. Click OK. Now let's move on to create section. We have a shell structure with type of homogeneous. Click OK. The thickness of the shell is 0.1. Click OK. Now let's assign the material to the structure as always. Click Done. The shell offset definition is middle surface. This means that it will be a layer between the inner and outer layer as the neutral. And the software will solve based on that. Now let's move on to assembly module. Click instance, click create, click OK. Now let's move on to the step module. Click a step, click manager, click create, change procedure type to linear perturbation and select frequency. Click OK. Now let's define the eigenvalues. We will go with 5, click OK and then close. Because we don't have any other structures interacting with this one, we're going to ignore interaction module and move on to the load module. Let's define the boundary condition, click BC, click manager, click create, confirm category as mechanical and type is displacement rotation. Click continue and then holding shift key, we're going to select the top and bottom edges. Pay attention not to select the surface. Click done, select all displacements and rotations and then click OK and close. Since we are analyzing free vibrations, there are no external forces. This structure is going to have some vibrations due to gravity and that's what we are going to analyze here. Let's move on to mesh module. Click on mesh, click on controls, let's confirm it is quad dominated and free. Click OK. Now click Mesh, Element Type, select the structure and click Done. The element library is standard, geometric order is quadratic, and family is shell. Click OK. Now click Mesh Part Instance, click Yes, and you can see the mesh sizes are way too large, so we need to modify that. Click Seed, Instance, we're going to change the global size from 0.28 to 0.08 and then click OK. Now it's asking us if you want to delete the previous meshes. We're going to say yes, delete. And now we need to repeat. As you can see, the meshes are proper sizes now. Let's move on to job module. Click create, give it a name. Now 
let's say vibrations, click continue, click OK and click submit and then click OK. Now we have to wait for the software to solve for the vibrations. The status is changed to completed, so we're going to move on to results. Under results, we can see for mode 1, the first frequency that this structure is going to vibrate is 997.98 Hz. The value seen here is the eigenvalue, where if we take the square root of this number and divide it by 2 pi, we will get the frequency. You can see the next frequency and there are 5 modes. You can also see an animation on how the structure changes shape under each frequency, like so. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding this video or an abacus in general, please leave a comment down below. Click the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned with future videos. See you guys next time.